How big can a concrete slab be without expansion joints? If you're planning a construction project and wondering how large a concrete slab can be without needing expansion joints, you're about to get some clear answers. Let's break it down step by step. First, it's important to understand what expansion joints are and why they're necessary. Expansion joints are full width cuts in concrete that allow the slab to expand and contract without cracking. This is crucial because concrete shrinks as it cures and also expands and contracts with temperature changes. The size of the slab and the spacing of expansion joints are closely related. For instance, if you have a slab that's 100 millimeters thick, the expansion joints should be placed about 3 meters apart. This is calculated by multiplying the slab thickness by 30, so for a 100 millimeter slab, you'd need joints every 3,000 millimeters. When it comes to the maximum size of a slab without expansion joints, it's not just about the area, but also the aspect ratio. For example, a slab with a 1 to 1 aspect ratio like a 5 meter by 5 meter slab is generally safer than a longer, narrower slab. If the slab is narrower than it is long, you can go up to a maximum aspect ratio of 1.5, such as a 2 meter by 3 meter slab. In practical terms, a large slab like 27 feet by 20 feet can still work without expansion joints, but it's highly recommended to include control joints instead. Control joints are cuts that go about a quarter to a third of the way through the slab's thickness and help manage shrinkage and cracking. For a slab of this size, dividing it into smaller sections with control joints can prevent random cracking. For example, you could divide a 27 by 20 feet slab into four pieces, each with its own control joints. This approach ensures that any cracking occurs along the joints rather than randomly across the slab. To summarize, while it's possible to have a large concrete slab without expansion joints, it's not the best practice. For slabs larger than six square meters, incorporating expansion joints, or at least control joints, is essential to prevent cracking and ensure the slab's integrity. So for a large slab, it's better to include these joints to avoid potential problems down the line.